All right, so right now we are receiving data and we can add data, all right? So we can add some data here. Now what we need to do is actually be able to delete some data out of here. And then after we delete it, we can go ahead and also edit it. So the first thing that we need to do is create a get request with a, the get super global, right? So let's do that. First, well, what I want to do is put a link right here on the right hand side. So every time we click it, we delete this row right here of the table, All right? So we are going to be adding that right here with an echo right here, okay? And this is going to be a link and the link is going to have this, the cat ID. The reason why we want to pass the ID because we want to make a query saying where whenever you find this ID, I want you to delete it. All right. So we're going to make like a little condition based on ID. So the ID, of course, this is going to be the ID of that specific row. All right. In the database. So let's do href. And here, this is a, just an anchor tag. We are going to be passing and some values, all right, in the URL. So we want to catch it in the same, actually, let's make sure this is only single quotes. And we want to pass it in, we want to make sure that it's on the same page, categories ph, .php, right? This is the same page right here. And when we click on it, on this link, we want to pass it in some parameters. And we, of course, the parameter is going to be the cat ID, but we want to say question mark and then we want to say delete. So this is going to make a key in the array in the get request and the get super global, which is a, uh, a an array, an associative array. And this is going to be the key and this would be the value. So let's just go ahead and say equals and let's just take this from here and put it right here. All right. And here we will say something like delete. That's what we're going to write here. Delete. So if we go back to it, I think we are good here. Let's go back to it and let's check it out. Right now we see that we have a link and we put our mouse over it. You can see down here that it turns into an ID. If I click it, you can see that we do have that on the browser. So we do have for that specific row, we do have a different ID. They see, you see it changing up there. So let's go ahead and make that query. I was going to go ahead and make that query right here, but that's going to confuse you. I want to be able to make the query somewhere else so it does not confuse you. And that way we can maybe later on turn in, uh, this into functions. All right. So I'm going to put this two, both of these queries together right here just because I want to keep it together here right now all right let's just put it a little bit to the side here and all right so this query we can make a comment here and say something like find find all categories I'm just want to make this uh, clear for you find all categories query all right and then we're gonna make something in the bottom of here right here we're gonna start another one so we open a PHP tag make sure it's lowercase all right let's do that let's go ahead and create one here all right I don't like this cursor going all the way down, but that's fine. All right, so we want to check first if we see a get request, a get super global around, right? So if set, we use the is set function with an if statement, and we say like we done before in the lectures before in the course, we are checking for the delete key, which is going to be right here, right? And if we find it, then everything is good. And we can go ahead and save this ID, the, well, this key right here, the value of the key, actually, into another variable called the cat ID right here, right? 
well we can name this something different like the cat ID let's just name it differently because this ID all right is 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 going to this right here all right but we don't this is coming already from inside the database right here so we could actually when we catch it right here we can name it differently so that way it does not confuse us or we can say get cat ID or whatever you want to call it but I like to sometimes change it that way is oh, I'm doing it for you basically so that way it doesn't not confuse you all right it is the same ID right here all right so don't get it wrong it's just we're using a different variable all right so when we get this we want to do something here once we get it here we do a query so let's do a query all right right here let's make sure this is a line right here and let's the query that we want to do to the database delete from categories where what what's the condition where the cat ID right well actually we need to ref reference the column in the database which is called cat ID equals this cat ID right so we want to make sure that is in brackets just so it looks good and separated from this a little bit better and then we need to send this query all right let's just put a little together a little tighter there all right so the query is going to be delete query that's I think that's a good name we can name it whatever we want remember that my SQL is the function that we're going to be using or well, my SQL query we're going to pass it in the same thing we pass it in up here connection and the query okay connection and the query all right we could have easily copied some of this down but let's do it like this that's fine and what else so that's it that's about it now just because if we do it like this you're gonna see what happens I'll show you right now if I click delete it does not delete but if I click it again it deletes the reason for this is because we need it if we send this request we would like to refresh the page so it will look like it's doing it instantly all right but in fact we are re actually refreshing the page and right now when we click on it it's not refreshing the page it's just sending the ID and then we have to we will have to refresh the page in order for this to work so we have to click it twice for it to refresh but we don't want to do that so what I want to do is actually refresh send once this is done we want to send the we want to make a, a refresh basically so we're gonna say location Categories.php. This is just gonna refresh the page, basically. Basically, all right. It's gonna send. It's gonna go ahead and and send that request back to Categories.php in another. It's gonna do another request for the page, and it, basically it's gonna refresh. All right. So let's do it. Let's see how that works. Let's see if it looks better like that. So, delete. You see that we click it one time and it deletes it because it's refreshing. Look at that. You see, it doesn't even have the ID right here because it's redirecting back to categories.php. Before, we saw the ID on top here. So, that's one way of doing that. I think that's pretty cool, right? So, we can add the categories again here. and We can say something like, um, I don't know, Java. Add it. And we could delete it. Perfect. I think we're good with this. Both of them there. All right. Oops. Sorry. All right, so I think this is looking good. So let's just put a little delete query. All right, that's fine. We're just gonna comment this a little bit there. All right, just to make it a little bit neater. All right, so. All right, so we are done here, and let's go ahead and continue with the next lecture. I think this one already got too long. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.